California National Guardsmen joined in on a multi-agency cleanup of an illegal marijuana grow site in the pristine forest of Northern California. The Guard has had a long-standing cooperation with law enforcement to help rid the forest of the drip lines, garbage, and dangerous chemicals that the illegal marijuana growers have left behind. Typically what you can find too is they will actually um, fertilize and put the chemicals and additives right in that water source. All these water sources run right down into the South Fork of the American River where we are here and on down into the Sacramento River and into the Delta. Yeah, I mean the water, the, the drinking water sources for, for EID at El Dorado Irrigation District, for the drinking water for uh, South Bay Municipal Utilities District, um, all the different uh, uh, municipalities use water that is a that comes from the the uh, this western slope of the Sierra Nevada mountain range. You know we have issues with uh, environmental issues and, and species issues down in this in the in the deltas and in the rivers. Um, all of these chemicals and byproducts of these types of organizations end up in those water sources. This is the eradication of a marijuana grow that is really uh, uh, causing uh, in intense danger to not only the land but also to the public who wants to use these public lands. The National Guard is absolutely critical and in fact I don't think this could be accomplished at anywhere near the scale that it has been done without their expertise, their airlift capability uh, is absolutely critical. Uh, we're in the El Dorado National Forest um, not too far from Ice House Reservoir, where we're participating in an interagency drug raid on a marijuana garden. In this plot alone, there's about 3,000 plants. We believe there's uh, two other gardens that have at least another 1,000 plants each. Drug dealers and drug growers do a lot of damage uh, environmentally, and they also provide a threat to public safety because they are armed and they will uh, use violence to protect these gardens. This is a profound threat. Uh, there's a threat not only to um, hikers, hunters, and other people that want to use the public lands for recreation. There's also tremendous environmental damage. The, uh, the drug dealers don't feel constrained to follow the rules of EPA, and they wantonly use uh, chemicals that, to um, fertilize their gardens, to kill animals that threaten their garden. Yeah, in this particular case, uh, there was uh, venison um, that was prepared for, uh, for a meal, um, so clearly they killed a, de a deer out of season. The National Guard is a key player in the interagency effort to uh, eradicate these gardens and to restore the public land. We provide a broad spectrum of military capabilities including aviation, operational case support, medical support, and uh, soil remediation. Um, they're highly motivated, um, they enjoy working with their interagency partners, and, and we know we're making a difference. For the California National Guard Public Affairs, this is Master Sergeant David Leffler.